Hey guys, Versus Z, and I'm doing the unboxing video for the uh, Master Grade RX-178 Gundam Mark II Titans Prototype Mobile Suit, <clears throat> uh, version 2.0, and um, yeah, I haven't done anything, you know, model kit related this whole week since Double O, I actually took a extended break <laughs> after doing all that work, and um, yeah, I've just been pre-ordering stuff, doing all this other crap, um, playing um, Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam, which is a ridiculously awesome game. <laughs> it's pretty good, and it's, uh, I have a feeling it's a pretty long game. I'm stuck on it. So, yeah. Well, let me get to unboxing this guy. Um, pretty much, here's the you know cover art. You got the you know box art here showing a couple of poses, different points of articulation here and there some labels, more pictures, front view, rear view, a couple of the other gimmicks, accessories, pretty good amount of accessories, and two pilots, which you gotta, um, paint. You guys probably noticed that I'm reviewing this, or showing you guys this thing in, on a carpet. It's because I'm doing this at night, and where I usually do it, which is on the bed, uh, you, you're gonna see, like, my shadow everywhere. But anyway, um, here's a manual, and I will, I should just show you now. You've got the, um, color guide, pretty awesome. You have a B4, and you have, uh, I can't, I can't tell if it's too bright or not, but you have a before. Alright, so you got a before and an after. You got the color, color guide for the, uh, pilot, little random pilot there. And you open this up, you see, like, more more of beginning instructions more like you know what you need what you're going to be expecting you know it looks like you need some scissors tweezers and of course a clipper the one part I like about this instruction manual is um, instructions on putting the uh, drive transfers on and probably because I'm really behind on master grades but uh, I haven't seen I didn't see this in the uh, wing zero custom manual and this isn't your kid, so, yeah. <laughs> then you have, like, you know, which steps are which kind of thing. Shows you how to cut, um, shows you how to cut off. Oh, wait, there you go. Shows you how to cut off from the tree and cutting off, you know, the uh, excess plastic. Parts list. Hold on, can't even see it couple other things uh, and I've been um, looking around and I've noticed and it's kinda interesting it's funny how I um, how I mentioned in the Wild Worker review how there was this um, plastic tubing and you have to cut it out well it's kinda funny because um, there's something like that in this kit too so I'll show you guys uh, you know what it looks like more you know more art it's from uh, Zeta Gundam, I believe. This here is Advance of Zeta. These are high grade Universal Century kits. More articulation and more pictures. And more instructions. Weapons. Yeah. And right now I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of parts trees which I unbagged already. Just a few important things. First part tree, there's you know clear parts right there. A couple of joints here. Uh, it's kind of a different gray than your normal Gundam gray. More black. Really detailed parts. Here's the um, polycap joint. It's a pretty big tree for. Uh, uh, polycap joints. It's kind of interesting. Next, we have the um, one of the uh, dark, darker blue or purple. I, I don't know. It might be purple. Um, parts tree with the two pilots there, one sitting down and one standing. Yeah, I, I don't know. It might be purple. Um, parts tree with the two pilots there, one sitting down and one standing. More joints and inners. This tree in particular is like 
one of the most, like, it's the most detailed tree. You can, I mean, you can see this set of parts here, super detailed. A lot more things here. One of the other set of trees that I didn't unbag, um, just because they're smaller and I want to keep them. Um, chrome plated hydraulics, which is nice. Clear pink beams. Crap stickers, dry transfers, and the clear stickers. I love it when kits come with dry transfers. And I also love it when kits don't come with so many stickers. This one, it ain't so bad. I, I might use, a, I don't know, probably for the eyes, maybe. But yeah. Then the last thing here is the little tubing. It's just pretty much like a, it's a random hollow, it's just a hollow uh, piece of fabric string here. And this is what you're going to use for like um, hydraulic pipings and stuff like that around the around the back of the legs and other parts of the backpack and stuff. So yeah, you're going to have more than just snap together plastic parts to work with this guy. Um, um, I'm expecting a 7, 8, or 9 hour build for me because, um, well, unless, it could be different, unless, you know, you have other things to do in your life, but yeah, looking at a 7, 8 hour, 7, 8, or 9, maybe even 10, possibly, you know, project time, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys are, um, whoever was interested in picking this guy up, I hope you guys, your interest has gone up, because um, it's a great kit, I can already tell. And now I'm going to start it, so I'll see you guys in an update later on.